You are now watching Pan in Motion TV. The question of the day is, do you create a seat or start your own table? Now, a few weeks ago, I was flipping through Instagram, looking at some positive quotes and those types of things, and I stumbled upon a quote that spoke about creating a seat at a table. And immediately I felt like I connected with it. I jumped on it. I even posted it almost right away on Instagram. And I had got some positive feedback and you know, people that felt that same energy and agreed with it. And I think for a while I, w I, was, I, was, I was with it, but then the more that I thought about it is the more that I realized that maybe I fully don't know what it means to create a seat at this table. And I still don't actually, <clears throat> or maybe I do. But what does it mean to create a seat at a table? <clears throat> as, a, as a musician trying to currently create sort of a hybrid career for myself in music with pen and arranging, composing, performing, and all these different aspects, producing as well, how do I create my own seat? Or have I already been creating my own seat? As when, like, I, I'm still in school, right? And I, I study music composition in school. And so essentially I'm doing classical music on a, you know, classical, contemporary, modern, new music, all these different types of things, um, the majority of the year through school. But outside of that, home life and, you know, culturally, um, I'm, I'm very much driven in the world of pan and so i tend to sometimes merge these two whether it's the classical realm with the pan world or just staying in the pan world you know for purposes of like panorama or you know whatever the, the situation but anyway as a musician we we grow up and we hear other people doing things you know we um for me i grew up and i heard bugsy solo and i heard, heard clive bradley um, arranging and playing the keyboards, you know, Jit Samaru, um, scoring out music and, and, you know, taking panorama songs and putting it in, you know, putting all these different flavors, you know, this chutney flavor and, 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 and these, you know, Latin and, and, and salsa, you know, rhythms and, and, and all these different things that he used to use. You know, you, you, you hear all these different arrangers, you hear Ray Harmon with these sweet chords and this, you know, jazzy approach, same thing with, um, with Andy Norell, you know, a very jazzy approach. And you, you hear these things growing up. Um, even um, Liam Teague, you know, hands of, hands of lightning, you know, a guy who has probably some of the fastest hands that I've ever seen in Pan, um, Duvon Stewart as well. Um, you had Earl Rodney, you had all, all these great, great um, arrangers and, 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 and composers of Pan songs and or maybe other music that I don't know about, soloists, all these different things. But the point is that when you grow up and you, you, you hear somebody doing something, you mimic that. And you, you mimic that because you're enjoying what they're doing. So for me, it started off as being a pan player and being able to play someone else's arrangement and, 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 and enjoying that, you know, playing someone else's arrangement. But then as the years got went by, I, I started to realize that I also wanted to be an arranger. So was that me pre-planning to create a seat? Now, essentially, I am an arranger. So does that mean that I created a seat at a pre-existing table? That's kind of how it looks to me, but I don't know. I could be wrong. But then I'm also thinking that if that's the case, why not be able to start a table within what I'm doing? And maybe it doesn't necessarily apply to arranging, but maybe starting a table applies to creating my own music. Because for years, I've been accustomed to working with others and doing, doing things with others and arranging other people's songs and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I love it. You know, I love, I love being able to, to give my interpretation to someone else's song and I think it's, I think it's great. But then at what point in time do I start my own table, if at all necessary? You know, is, is me starting Pan in Motion, is that me starting my own table? 
or a label if we want to put another name to it as it pertains to music but you know in the grand scheme of things am i starting did i start my own table or is it that creating original music is now more along the lines of starting my own table and having people grab gravitate towards what i'm doing as opposed to playing or performing the norm of what they're used to you know um i, I mean i don't know maybe food for thought something to think about but i'm actually curious to hear what you guys think about what it means to create a seat at a table if that's what's best for you maybe you know if you think that's best for me or you just think that 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 might be the better answer in general or starting your own table but with either one of those answers i take my curiosity a step further and say if you are starting your own table and you get the majority of people to believe in starting their own table as well, who do you have sitting at your table? How many people do you have sitting at your table? Do you need people sitting at your table? And at what point do or would someone who has a table help someone else who has another table because my immediate thought would be if everyone is starting their own table then who is going to help us with our table and i mean these you know these are in no way selfish thoughts but more curious very curious thoughts in fact about what that means and how that applies to us as individuals and for me that means this means pan and music on the whole in general for me that's what this question means for me but what about what about for you guys i have friends out there who rap who sing who are aspiring lawyers who who are um who work in the the fashion industry who work um for the government who work you know in um in corrections all these different things but it's still a part of music or music is still a part of them in a in a huge way um even though it might not necessarily be their career so i'm really curious as to how you guys would answer that question and what you think would be the best the, the best sort of fit for you and what you're trying to do in career wise or where you're headed so if you have a moment just comment below and let me know what you think about creating a seat or starting your own table. All right, that's my question for today. Kendall K. Williams, I'm out. Pan in motion. Thank you for watching the latest episode of Pan in Motion TV. We hope you enjoy. Look out for future episodes on Sundays. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. All right? Follow us on Instagram at Pan in Motion and check out our website, panemotion.com. Peace.